Oh my goodness. You actually made one. You actually made one. Get your ball out the way. Put that shit on. You never make putts anywhere. Let's go. Oh, it's not even gonna get there. Oh. All right, episode eight. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. All right, so I wanted to kick it off. One of the jobs that I have when I'm on the listing side is truly making sure that the buyers, when we're receiving offers for on our listings, are, are pre-approved, not pre-qualified. I will be vulnerable right now and share that on a, on a very recent case, I didn't do my job to the level that I should have. About three weeks in this transaction, it was falling apart. So I luckily got permission from the buyer's agent that the buyer was willing to talk to you. Why don't you tell the folks what happened? Well, the file got sent over to me, and just, just for the record, this is, uh, came from a person who has been in the industry a long time, should be able to trust that they've done their, their due diligence as well. But unfortunately, within 24 hours of me getting all the pertinent information, what is the first thing I said? Uh, I would have never pre-approved this, this buyer. Now, three weeks into the transaction, the employer did switch the way that the buyer was paid. I think now, in hindsight, that it was done on purpose to try to see if we could get around the hurdle that popped up. But the reality of the situation after trying to work it, I found out that it was posted by the previous lender and it was flagged for potential fraud from what the employer provided. So again, doing the due diligence up front, making sure that they're truly pre-approved and gone through underwriting and there's no question about the file is just paramount, especially in this market. Yep. And I think some of the best agents out there, what they do is they, they just assume that something's not right. And that's what we gotta do. So if you're a buyer watching this and you're thinking about buying a, a house, I would love for you to talk to Renee. There's also a misconception with, I shouldn't get my credit pulled. And I will say just from experience, I get my credit pulled at least once a year. I mean, you do soft pulls on, on the credit. I can't urge buyers enough. If you're thinking about buy, buying a home, it doesn't matter if you're looking to buy now, one or two years from now, just get pre-qualified, figure out the numbers. You know, it, it's beneficial because I've seen people get their credit reports pulled and find out that there's stuff on it that they weren't aware of. Do you have anything you want to touch on that? You said correctly, we do soft pulls if you're not ready right now, so it's not an inquiry, but it's no cost, no obligation to find out what it is and you just don't know certain things that will put you into the right position without going through it. So it's an easy process. We can do it any time and it really sets you up for success in the future. Yep. And I just want to say, man, congratulations. You're a Kings fan now. Light the beam! All right, episode eight. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> that was very, that was it. <laughs> okay. All right, good to see you, episode eight. Okay.